Two years ago, Ryan Cooper was 39 years old, a vegetarian, an athlete who had never smoked a day in, a life, in his life. Nevertheless, he was diagnosed with lung cancer. When he learned his chance of remission with conventional treatment was pretty much non-existent, he visited a one-of-a-kind oncologist in Long Beach. Deep breath through your mouth, out, again. Brian presented in February of 2011 with the worst possible prognosis. He had stage 4 non-small cell lung cancer. He knew that he was in trouble. He was 39 years old, and he was confronting a lethal diagnosis with no good options. We first met Ryan at his first visit to consult with oncologist Robert Nagorny almost two years ago. Ryan's lungs had been filling with fluid almost daily. Dr. Nagorny drained the fluid, isolated the cancer cells within it, then tested the cells against multiple cancer drugs. The results? Standard treatments for lung cancer didn't kill any of Ryan's cells. An experimental drug called crudsatinib did, but there was a hitch. Yeah, they said the good news is I have a drug that can save your life. The bad news is you don't get the criteria to get into the clinical trial. Cruzotinib is a pill that targets a specific gene mutation. Ryan was told he didn't have the gene. The problem was the gene tests that are used to, to select candidates were negative, and he was not going to be able to get the drug. But in Dr. Nagorny's lab, the have killed every cell in the test tube. I can't imagine the level of frustration. I just, I, I had the answer. It was like having an antidote to a patient who had been poisoned. After 12 weeks of standard chemo, Ryan eventually qualified for crusotinib. And just like the sensitivity test predicted, his cancer is now in remission. Yeah. Wow. Joining me now, cancer survivor Ryan Cooper and oncologist Dr. Robert Nagorny from Rational Therapeutics in Long Beach. And I'll tell you both, I don't know if I should feel great about this or scared that there are so many other people like you, Ryan, who are missing out on this treatment. I mean, tell me about what you thought when Dr. Nagorny found that you did have the gene that the lab said you didn't have. Yeah, my original treating oncologist thought I had it, and he had tested for it several times. He was convinced I had it, and, and uh, when, when the, the test came back negative, he didn't know what to do, and he threw his hands up in the air. He said, we need to get a second opinion, and another uh, lung expert had uh, kind of written me off and said, there was nothing I could do for you, and um, I wasn't disheartened by that. My, my uh, now wife uh, said, well, let's, you know, let's continue to look, and she was familiar with Dr. Nagorny, and uh, luckily, you know, we got in there and we did the chemotherapy sensitivity assay, and this test proved that I was responding to the drug that was, in fact, designed for that original mutation that I was tested for. And, okay, now here's the thing. Dr. Nagorny, and I'm not trying to, to disparage your profession, but don't you guys talk to each other? <laughs> I mean, really, how is it that you're able to isolate this, this gene and this, and this drug and see that, that, that it all works together and others are not? Well, we used a different approach. We used a functional approach which studies the cell behavior. We weren't looking at the genes that make up the cancer. We were looking at the cancer itself. And by studying Ryan's biology, by studying the actual behavior of his cells when exposed to the drug, we found that that was indeed the right drug, regardless of what the laboratory test said. Now, the last time you were on Studio 11, you and I talked about this, and I kind of cocked my head, and I thought, studying the biology, studying the behavior, but you've now been published. We've just finished a, a large series in patients with lung cancer, like Ron, and we doubled the response rate to over 60% from wow. 30. And we've nearly doubled the survival in this lethal disease. What does this mean for other patients like Ryan? What can it mean? We think that every patient should take charge of their disease, that they should seek out the opinions they, they need, just as Ryan did. And if their lab test or their gene test don't work, let's keep looking. Laboratory tests like this can work. I have very little time, but Ryan, what would you tell others like you? Just like Dr. Nagurna is saying, seek, seek additional treatment, seek addi additional information. Uh, this, this chemotherapy sensitivity assay is not going to only save lives, but it's going to save a lot of resources, and you know, we, need, we need people to uh, understand that. All right, and, and doctor, I, I know that this demonstrates my ignorance of cancer, but is this really lung cancer specific, or can this treatment, this, this philosophy, this, this way that you practice medicine be targeted toward other forms of cancer? We've already published series in breast cancer, ovarian cancer, most recently in lung cancer, and we're now very interested in pursuing pancreatic cancers as well.